This is a Minecraft village, and this is a real-life Minecraft village completely made of boxes the size of actual Minecraft blocks. To do this, we individually painted over 400 cardboard boxes with Minecraft textures, then drove them out to a remote location so we could build a real-life Minecraft village for our new short film. Yeah, so it's like 10 a.m. It's 60 degrees. It feels like it's already like 80 degrees. In two days, if we don't have this done, it's gonna be 105 degrees. That's like twice as hot. That's not how that works. So, today's gonna be the coolest day. Yeah, so if we can get this done in two days, that's the goal. <laughs> right? Two days. Two days? Two days. Jax, what do you think? Nah, you're all crazy. So before we could build our houses, we needed to make a general foundation of our village to figure out spacing. So since last time, all these boxes kept getting knocked off. Yep, you heard that right. About a month before this attempt, we actually tried to build this village, but we came out unprepared and our houses were no match to the wind. So this time, we came up with a solution. It was actually the most improbable. <laughs> but we have to do this to all 450 boxes. As you can see, we've started production. Um, Michelle and Tyler were supposed to get out here and join us today, but now we just got word that they might lose their flight, so we might not be able to get them out till Friday. So we're losing two people. <sighs> Honestly, if everything doesn't keep going to plan, it might not be so great. If everything doesn't keep going to plan, I said that right. I think, I think I did. What are you doing? Well, we wanted the building more that way, so we're pushing the building. So that you can't just break it and replace it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the only reason we ever bring Brantley out to do videos is because he does really good Jerry Seinfeld impressions. Watch this. Hey Brantley, Jerry Seinfeld when he's not happy with his sandwich. I tell you a thousand times, I want a ham and cheese. What is this? This is turkey. My Jerry Seinfeld impression is better. Oh really? Hey, I'm Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, we got a sandwich app from Michelle. They're getting on the plane, so they made it. Dope. Now that we had a full team, we were able to finish an entire house. And to top off our productive day, we began progress on the next buildings. So it's officially the end of the first day. We got an entire building built. Half a building over there. This is the uh, fourth building structure here. This is all coming together. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no kidding, we got griefed. Due to high overnight winds, we lost almost all of our progress, but we didn't let that stop us from building our village. So now that most of this building's up, we're gonna get started on our third building. I feel like we're missing something. We're missing a lot. Yeah. Wait, 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 actually, there was a large windstorm last night. Yeah, they might be about a quarter mile that way. Wait, we're giving oh, Brantley a roll? Just as a sheep and motivate us. Bah. Bah. <laughs> hey, I'm a sheep! <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let me try and push it in more. Oh, perfect. Great job! Should I do a third one? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just did it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got everything except the roof done on this one. So, we're moving on to a well. Oh, well, 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 well. Oh. I don't, I don't feel so, so good. Red. The dirt dries up your nose. You should stage scene right now. Big time Austin thing that someone's got hurt. Yeah. Get into character. You, you're, get, you're in a fight with Cortland. Cortland take it too far. Cortland said something too far, and now you're gonna punch him. <laughs> Chill the out. Whoa, 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 Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it. You got it, man? Cortland, yell back. You took that too far. How good? Dude, that's <laughs> up. Whoa, what happened? Brian knocked my head off. Cortland has a bloody nose. That was bad. I'm up, dude. What happened? Where'd he go? He went to the car. Yeah, walk, keep walking, bro. Do you want some gauze and stuff up there? Do you want that side? <laughs> and he heard it in the background. He's like, it's probably just a prank. I'm like, I don't think so because I saw the no, blood. I was waiting for someone to break, but no Did one you broke. Know <laughs> Yo, yeah, what's up? This is prank. Yeah. Austin's got it. As we conquered our setbacks, our motivation went up, and even though we couldn't finish in two days, we slowly gained back our lost time. All right, so we're back. It's the third day. Little bit of wind trouble. Some of the pillars went down, but not as bad as yesterday. We're gonna have to fix this pillar because it's out of place. I'm trying to think of a pillar pun. You got anything? 
I got nothing. Can you get a pillar yeah, pun? I mean, what do you want? Like a magic pill or something? Okay, I mean, you know what? Maybe let's just go on to the next bit. As the day went on, the temperature went well over 100 degrees. But luckily, we found ways to beat the heat. I'm pretty good with my reflexes. Like earlier, Cortland almost... I'm pretty good with my reflexes. Missed. almost dropped them. So as you can see, we're all working hard. We're just putting all this hard work in. They're the lazy ones over there. Playing with boxes, and we're doing the important work. I'm basically the face of this operation. I don't even know what Sergio's doing. When did you... Wait, who are you? <laughs> We had to put these brackets up for safety. They stick out like sore thumbs, so Emily's painting them with paint. Yeah, I'm in a lot of paint. Oh, uh, can you stop with the paint puns? All right, so right now, we've got three buildings done, as far as today goes. We've now officially got progress on the fourth building. As our third day of crazy progress wrapped up, all we could hope for is that the buildings would survive. And it looks like everything survived the night. This is great. We're in the clear now. So right now we're on the uh, scissor lift. We're gonna be taking these stairs right here and we're gonna be making some legitimate Minecraft roofing. Okay, win, 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 win. That could've killed both of us. Did you get that camera? Yeah. My guy. All right. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Metal shavings in your eye, kids. Yeah, I kind of do everything here, so you want to subscribe to Okay, um, undercover boss back again. So, as you can see, everything's been going perfectly, pretty much. I think I'm gonna have some good reviews. Actually, the only person I've had a problem with is this dude right here. Hey, hey man. I'm, I'm really, really happy to be a part of this shoot. <laughs> Why is your hand all wet? I decided to sleep at camp last night. Also, wouldn't let me sleep inside the budget truck, so I decided to go on top of the budget truck. All of a sudden, we hear <gasps> boom, ba, ba, boom. Ba. I was like tapping the top of the truck and trying to wake Austin up. <laughs> Bro, there's a bear coming right at you. And Austin starts shaking and making sounds, and the bear runs off. Uh, my hypothesis is that surprisingly, no buildings are down today. But the past two nights, it was just Austin here. The boxes magically blew over. I think that the bear has been sneaking in and destroying our sh. As the day went on, it only kept getting hotter, but we were determined to finish our village. We're working on the very last piece of structure that we're actually adding to a house right now. It's 97 degrees, but it's probably hotter. Yeah, we got our tallest building just about to be finished. Hey, wait, hey just in case there's a Bartlett. bail moment, Bartlett. no one's standing on I got it. Now that all the buildings in the village are done, it's time for us to decorate them. Mine's gonna look way better than yours. <laughs> mine's, mine's gonna look the best. No, mine will look way better. All right, then let's do it. Okay. Let's see if this is better. Guarantee I'm All right, let's do it. Who is this guy? He's having Michelle do everything. He's cheating. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna steal it before Sergio gets it. I'm gonna tell him. We're gonna, I, need, I gotta get this set up right now. He has a chest. That's not fair. Picture frame. If you want to see the village in action, make sure to check out the full short film linked in the description. It's super funny and full of adventure. Now let's get back to our tour. Hey, welcome to my house. Let me give you a tour. For this one, we went with a little bit of more of a game accurate approach. Got the cartography table here, putting this place on the map. Got a chest here, right next to the bed. And to top it all off, gotta have a picture of your hoe above your bed. This looks like It's not even game accurate. The world is actually flat. Do you, do you ever mop your wooden floors? Do you, does yours have wood floors? Touche. Let's go look at my place. My place looks so much better. What's up, MCTV? Come on in, check out my house. I decided to go all out. I got the music box here. I'm close to the bed for those special nights. And then sometimes when those special nights are actually successful, we got the uh, furnace next to the bed here so she can wake up and make me breakfast. Those nights are uh... never successful, are they? Who, who decided to let him in here?
I got the crafting table here, signed by Notch himself. I've used it about two or three times. I tend to get all my stuff custom made because uh, I don't have time to build boats while I'm falling. Well, last but not least, I welcome you guys to my humble boat. It's the bomb. Check it out. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I get it. <laughs> bomb, like dynamite. You didn't even do anything in here. Oh, oh my god! Oh! Oh! There's so much stuff in the way. If only there was another door in this building. Oh my god! Oh my gosh.